Hey everybody, it's Dad the Red, and welcome back to Lou Game Lunchtime Games Club. Right then, last we left off, date with Stacy. I I'm still a bit shocked, but um, let's go right on ahead and see how this turns out, shall we? As promised, Stacy pulls up in her family's car for a date. When she gets out of the car, I approach the room. The two of us meeting halfway. The moment I'm close to her, she slows to a stop in front of me. Oh, hello. I stare at Stacy silently, it's, if only because I'm not quite sure what to say. Is that the only reason, though? She looks so beautiful that honestly, I'm not sure I'd have words either way. So, hmm? Where are we eating? Oh, I chose something classic. You've probably been there a million times with your family, so I'm sorry for that. I made reservations for Massé Soleil. Soleil? I, 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 okay, that. Masse Soleil? I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry. I'm, I'm very sorry. Do you like French cuisine? I don't really know it. Sorry. Never been to... Okay. I... 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 I don't have a way of doing this. <laughs> Wait. I kind of do? Oops. I kind of do. I kind of do. Okay. First off. <laughs> We're going to want to do... Marseille Soleil. So wait, unless I'm mishearing, I think I had the right actually. Marseille Soleil. But the L seemed to be silent. I think. Huh. Mm hmm. I know Soleil means sun. I just never been sure I pronounced that. Like that. Okay, I, I guess I had that correct then, or at least I, I was so, sort of close. Marseille Soleil, or any kind of fine dining ever from Mana. So there's that. Oh, I see. Also, Coda, you dense motherfucker. Compliment the girl on the way she looks because it's quite fantastic, actually, yes. She looks shocked for a moment before relaxing to a smile. Well, you're in for a treat. I don't mean to be the stereotypical moist-handed guy at the side of a pretty girl, but I'm doing a pretty spotted imitation of one. You are one, Coda. It's hard to forget that Stacey's beautiful, but it's hard to think m about much else when she's not in her usual school uniform. The dress she's chosen for the night's occasion... Uh, Nice occasion, form-fitting in all the right places. Coda, you keep staring at me. I am? Oh, I, I guess I am. I offer her a small smile. Should I be sorry about that? Hmm. Stacy doesn't respond for a moment, arranging the bottom of her dress instead of looking at me. When she brings her gaze upward, a coquettish smile flits, uh, flits across her face. You know, I haven't decided yet. Okay, then. Keep looking, and I guess we'll find out. Okay, then. We reach the entryway and immediately are approached by the host, a demure smile on his face. Hello, Maurice. Reservation for two tonight, mademoiselle. We've been expecting you right this way. The fact that Stacy and the host know each other by name is, you know, word awesome. I might feel slightly out of place, maybe emphasized a little by the fact that Stacy herself is so comfortable, her, he her head held high. I'm just kind of shuffling long hands in my pockets, just sort of... <laughs> when we're seated, Stacy's chair is pulled uh, out for her by the host, as is mine. I'm suddenly reminded of the fact that Stacy's never washed dishes before a few weeks ago. No one rich people can't do anything by themselves. I browse the menu. Foie gras de canard mabre à la truffe. I have, I have no clue what that means, and I barely know how to say it. Foie gras, I forgot. I forgot what foie gras is. I used to. I, uh, canas, canard. That's some kind of bird, isn't it? And that would be truffle, I'm assuming? I'm not sure what... Maybe marbled? Or... I don't know what the... Uh, I'm trying to, like, bits and pieces of, like... <laughs> itty bits of bits and pieces are coming back. I do have to know, though. What the hell is canard? French for duck! Okay. So, something... Foie gras, duck, and then, I guess, maybe truffled? I don't know. Or maybe it's some, or maybe some kind of truffle like, uh, because so they don't make sauce with truffles too, don't they? I'm not a foodery person, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> That's just a bit bit about. It's like with me and not remembering what this is, but was fairly certain this was some kind of bird. Uh, yeah, I know what that means. I glance at Stacy, a sinking feeling on my stomach as she flips to the menu expertly. If I ask, will she laugh at me? It's strange to think about it, but. 
I wonder if that's how Stacy feels whenever she has to ask us about how they're doing to things seemingly simple. I look across this table to see Stacy eyeing me thought, but look, dude, just ask. What is it? I see you practically every day in school, but this feels different somehow. But in a good way. Yeah, I know what you mean. This play this kind of place really suits you. Really? How so? I agree, of course, but I'm curious as to what makes you think so. You're just so relaxed? Me, I can barely read the menu, and you, well, you just seem, I don't know, comfortable. Stacy waves her hand. I am comfortable, and there's no reason you shouldn't feel the same, Coda. Reaching out, Stacy touches the underside of my chin. Head high, chest out. You belong here, because I belong here. The way she looks at me so reassuringly, it makes me feel strangely at ease. When she speaks so confidently, I can barely believe her. I mean, I, I can believe her. Never mind, I inserted a word there. She tilts my, down my open menu with a single finger. Any idea what you want yet? I would, if I had any idea what any of this is, was. There you go, big man, good, there you go. You admitted you can't fucking read the menu. Ask for help, don't just order something at random and get, you know, screwed over. She laughs brightly. Then just sit back and relax, I'll take care of it. Hand to the menu without the slightest hesitation. Go for it, not not on life or I'm not up to try. She grins at me, flicking through the menu to ca choose carefully. After a, a minute or two, she puts the menu down. Almost instantly, one of the wait staff appears by our table. Are you ready to order, mademoiselle? Yes. We'll just have the six course Jardin de Goat go, 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 right, uh, meal set. As you wish. He disappears with the menu, leaving me eyeing Stacy curiously. Six courses? It's uh, do fancy restaurant? Probably smaller servings. What? You said you didn't know what you wanted. Besides, this one has a champagne sample with each one. I shake my head, grinning as she sits from her water glass. I didn't even notice that they filled our water glasses. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you were trying to keep me here. Stacy looks at me in surprise. Then her eyes soften into a smile as she averts them to adjust her napkin. That's not a smile, that's just her blushing and looking, like, concerned. Her voice is quiet as she speaks, touching my hand lightly. Good thing you don't know any better, then. Okay. I may not be able to pronounce the names of the food I've been eating, but thankfully that doesn't impact the taste or my ability to eat it. The fuck? Did I just hear something? A, wait a waitress in a pristine white uniform swans over to our table to interrupt us politely. I present, I present this Sherry Antoine Vintage uh, can champagne. Almost said campaign. I'm an idiot. To accompany your meal. I also didn't mean to do that. In an elegant display, she pops the bottle open with slender glove fingers and pours the champagne smoothly into our waiting glasses. Champagne. You don't like it? I can't remember the last time I had it, honestly. I shrug idly. We're not really a fancy alcohol family. Sometimes I drink red wine my parents were having pasta, if that counts. Or a steak, man. <laughs> uh, damn, there's only been a very few times I've ever actually had champagne, usually at weddings. My account is fancy depending on the age of the... Wait, did you just say pasta? Red wine? I stifle a laugh at her reaction. I'm um, guessing it's a faux pas then? You guessed correctly, cutie. Her tone is teasing as if she's enjoying this far too much. Well, at least she's teasing you, not mocking you. There's a difference. Kind of laughing with as opposed to at, you know? Or even if she's laughing at, it's not like taking the piss or anything. <laughs> For all your lectures on maturity, you don't know that red wine goes best with beef or lamb? Yeah, see steak. I grin at her. Didn't know about the lamb part. And here I thought the red wine went with whatever I was eating. I mean, do, do you, man. <laughs> Take your tea as you please and all that. She falls silent as we wait for the first of our courses to arrive. I know that proper de uh, date etiquette is to engage in small talk in the meantime, but I can't think of a single thing to ask. Things like her likes and her dislikes, her hobbies, school. I feel like I already know these things, so it just seems silly to bring them up. I don't want to bore her. Oh god, that <laughs> just hitting that tent peg right on the head. I'm not sure what to say. I I might not be sure what to say, but when I look up. Oh. Stacy's gaze is warm and inviting. So Kodum, tell me what you really think about this restaurant. Nice cuff, by the way. Did your earrings change again? Hey, where do you thank Stacy with this lifeline, saving us from an awkward wait for our food? Pretty impressive. Let me first let you know I've been to better. Uh, it's... I, I'm torn between these two. 
but this one kind of sounds a bit cynical, and this is pretty much honest from Cody's perspective, and probably would be from mine if it's out in his shoes. Stacy smiles sweetly at me. I'm glad to hear that. I put a lot of thought into my choice, you know? I can tell. But you know, I don't think the place is as important as the people you're there with. You think so? Uh, yeah, honestly, I agree with that, yeah. The place might be important if there's an importance there that uh, applies to the two of you, or to whoever you're there with. In that sense, you know, an experience or memory can make a place important um, by that connection. She toys with the long strand of her hair, and her gaze grows distant, as if she's thinking about something else now. Stacy? I suppose you're right, Coda. Even a crass fast food joint could seem like the, a mission star restaurant if you're there with the right person, a uh, people, or person. Yeah, exactly. And it, it doesn't even really have to have that connection. It's just being there with the right people in general can make it great, you know? Stacy thinks of what I've said, her expression shifting a little for some unknown reason. And that was on her mind, but knowing Stacy, she'll probably say it soon. She always does. And a moment later, in true Stacy fashion, she speaks up, though her voice is uncharacteristically timid. So, Coda, have you had any girlfriends before? It's a mystery. <laughs> um, I don't know the right answer to this question because I don't really see the, I mean, no, I think it's a potentially safe option. Had a few implies some experience, but could come off bad. I don't, it has the potential to, for her to react negatively to it or it's a mystery. That sounds teasing, but at the same time, she might not take that well. I don't know. Uh, and it seems like this is a serious, she's, she's being timid. Well, it's, she sounds to be asking it. So this is, sounds like a sensitive topic. So I don't want to say the wrong thing. And honestly, there's, uh, uh, I'm not sure why it's giving me the choice. Unless it's really up to me to make the quote unquote right decision by the game's leanings. So I agree with him one of these two. Um, uh, I can always roll for it. <laughs> Do the usual odd, even. And then save in case it goes horribly wrong. But I, I'm, I don't know. I might. I said I, I think I'm leaning more towards this. This feels like the safest option. Uh, out of curiosity, if I roll it, what do I get? Even. So it would be the second one. But I'm feeling like the first, honestly. This is this is this is less of a I'm torn between both and more like I'm I'm a little torn but I'm I'm more leaning in one direction a little bit so I'm gonna go with this is this on her mind I can't have a laugh a tiny bit Stacy gives me a disgruntled look if it's hard to answer nope I'm not sure if you noticed but I'm not particularly a hot item with the ladies even though you're the only guy in a club full of girls. Could just like, well, look, you could look at that as from a number of different perspectives. It could just be that girls just kind of feel comfortable around me. Or you could look at it as just, you know, uh, as I said, number of different ways to interpret that. But that's just one of them. Point taken. But that doesn't mean they're all interested in me. She gives me a point look before shaking her head and rolling her eyes. And what about Pinky? Tifa? Only well, just friends. Really? We grew up together. It's like my sister. I couldn't possibly see her in that way. Okay, then what about you? A girl like you is why I dated plenty of guys before. Uh, might be the wrong thing to say because it could be taken the wrong way. The thought of Stacy dating other guys makes my stomach twist around uncomfortably. I ever heard a flaunt in her dating history, but instead she looks away from me, her cheeks bright pink. I... I haven't. Seriously? A popular girl like you? Just because I'm popular doesn't mean that I'll date any boy that just comes up and asks. Yeah, see, that's the way it could have been taken the wrong way because you could have, she could have uh, assumed you were implying that she was easy. So in other words, you just weren't interested in any any of them. Exactly. I'm not going to waste my energy on anyone who isn't worth my attention. 
This admission makes me feel a little giddy inside. Don't get ahead of yourself, dear lover boy. What about me? Am I worth your attention? Stacy stares at me for a moment before a small, uh, soft smile spreads across her face. Well, I did ask you here, didn't I? Hmm? Somehow, I have nothing to say to that. This is so crazy. What is? Two school kids in a French restaurant acting like royalty? Stacy scoffs. As if there's anywhere else you'd rather be. Actually, I was just thinking of when we went to that convention together. I thought I was out of place back then, but you helped me feel comfortable. She paused for a moment. I'm sorry for the way I acted at the hotel. You were just trying to help and I was rude. Sorry. All these apologies? Who are you and what are you doing with Stacy? Oh, hush up. She shakes her head at me before gazing deeply into my eyes, her teeth grasping her bottom lip. She leans forward slowly, and my heartbeat quickening as I wonder at her attentions. Stacy? Shh. I just want to be close to you. To my surprise, Stacy rests her hand slowly, deliberately on top of mine. Her breath is sweet with champagne. Hey. Yeah? Let's get out of here. Take me somewhere. Somewhere, but the final course isn't here yet. I don't care. Let's just go. Din's already paid for, so you don't have to worry. She stands, holding out her hand to me. You don't have to worry about anything, I promise. All you have to do is come with me. Her face is pink. Maybe it's the champagne and how light I'm feeling, but... As I look up at her, I can't help but reach out to take her outstretched hand. I know just where you can go. Oh. Okay, then. I'm gonna end the episode here, actually. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.